What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko back at Locals. And I brought Alpha here with me again today. He's very enthusiastic as you guys can see. Are you excited to be here? I think he's excited to be here. But today we're playing Voiceless again. This is a deck that I've kind of been on recently. It's a deck that I want to learn. It's a deck that I think is very powerful in today's format. But of course, I already know that I need to get better at the deck. And that's what we're here for at Locals. I'm trying to get better every single day. Whether it's playing my deck better, whether it's learning the format. I'm just trying to get better. But I have a really saucy tech that I'm playing in Voiceless Voice today that I don't see a lot of people playing. But I think it makes a lot of sense. And I want to show it to you guys. But first, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. For these weekly vlogs, I also do deck profiles, combo videos, product openings, all that good stuff make sure to subscribe so with that let me show you guys what the spice is and what this deck actually looks like all right so i want to show you guys what we're playing of course we're still on the voiceless voice deck however i made one very major change so it's still branded voices voice i still think it's the better way to play the deck because the branded engine just lets you get into your main engine but also helps you otk however the thing that i changed was fenrir in the main deck now fenrir is a card that doesn't actually trade very well with fire however i still think fenrir makes a lot of sense in this deck because because it's a seven body that can search another seven that you can use for tribute fodder so i think it's really nice in that sense of course we're still playing a ton of hand traps because you need to be playing hand traps in today's format and then i changed up the extra deck just a little bit the side deck is still pretty good here it's still pretty standard the extra deck though i do want to say i added in chaos angel excel synchron and baron now there is a line it's not a great line but there is a line where essentially if you get hit with an imperm on your like your diviner normal summon or whatever you can end on a baron plus your skull guardian still so it's still full combo you just need uh two cards rather than just the one card to buy it, right? So that's why we're playing these. And then the Chaos Angel, I think, would be beneficial as well. So that's it for the deck. That's what I wanted to show you guys. It's, it's not a full deck list, of course. I just wanted to show you guys a brief uh, what it looks like. But I want to show you guys. I actually got this today. I don't want to open it up right now because I don't know where to put it. But it's a little Avion figure. And then there's a little rock here. And you kind of he just kind of stands on it. Okay, I just hit all my cards. But yeah, I thought this was pretty cool. I'm pretty excited for this guy. I, I, I don't know. You guys know me. I love my GX stuff. So here we are in our game two of round one. Now game one, I ended up losing the die roll and he had full combo, so I wasn't able to play through it. But game two, you guys are gonna see we're gonna be able to go first. Now we're gonna start off with the voiceless line because it plays around Nibiru. And then we also have the branded engine here to make full board plus an imperm set. So we have the imperm, the mirror jade and the omni negate plus the entire follow up for next turn. So you're gonna see he's gonna try to break the board, but he's unable to as we just have way too much. So he ends up scooping it up. All right, I'm gonna be real guys, I'm getting smoked it's not even close i'm getting smoked i'm gonna put you guys in a new area now this is we don't usually come here but we're here okay cool so let me tell you guys what happened for our round one and round two so round one i actually got footage of it was kashtira versus uh branded voices voice i'm on branded voices voice of course and kashtira is the worst matchup for the deck it's such a hard matchup for the deck we ended up tying okay that's honestly best case scenario in that situation my hands were mid everything was like i but i was able to kind of uh you know we were going back and forth game uh, one i think it was game one we were going back and forth game two ended a little bit quicker but game one uh we were going back and forth a lot and so for that reason you know we played pretty close into time unfortunately time sucks I, I hate playing into time but that's just what it was and that was honestly the best case scenario for us round two i'm um, up against Manadium, and every single hand i opened the one card combo so like in, in one case for example it was low so I opened low and uh, three or four hand traps, which in theory should be good because I was going second against Manadium. I think it was game one because I lost that roll. So I was going second. I opened three hand traps. It was Valor, Ash, Valor, Ash, Imperm, I think it might have been. Something like that. I used all three hand traps, stopped his board. I go low. I drew for turn. I drew a Skull Guardian. It doesn't do anything because I normal summoned low and he had Imperm for it. So I'm like, oh, I kind of just passed. I literally just passed. And on the crackback, he killed me. Bro, I don't know. Is it me? Is it me? Am I not playing this deck correctly? Because I feel like this is back-to-back -back locals now where I'm just not seeing the right cards. And I don't think I'm misplaying. Like, I just, I really don't think I'm misplaying. I don't know how I feel, man. I kind of want to go back to Kashtira, bro. Kashtira is my favorite deck. And I think it's so good in today's format. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's see if we can make some trades, have a good time. We're X11 right now. And I don't think we can top X11 because I only think X1 or higher tops. Technically, we can't top. I'm going to still play just for fun. I'm going to show you guys what we can pick up, what we can trade and all that stuff. But I'm going to be getting some cool feature matches for you guys round two i was actually uh, getting a hero feature match which is kind of cool and there's a crystal beast guy over here too so i might try to get the crystal beast on feature match as well for you guys so with that being said though i am gonna have to go either tweak the deck honestly it's not fenrir by the way remember i showed you guys the sauce how i said fenrir was gonna be a good addition i think fenrir has been the best card in the deck so far that's 
that's just how bad today's been going. So we're still here at Locals, but I want to show you guys some of the pickups I made. So I picked up two of the Ulti Dogmatic. Like Lisa, these are from the OTS pack. They're not the uh, Rarity Collection Ultis. I personally really like the OTS pack Ulti. So I picked up two more. That's my playset, actually. I also picked up this uh, Called by the Grave, which is a Hobby League print, which you don't see Hobby League prints all the time, but I really love this rarity. So that's just one thing that I got to pick up here. The Dengirsu as well. I have OTS Ultis, but I really am liking the QCRs recently. So the Dengirsu QCR is also a cheap QCR. So I ended up picking that up as well. Another cheap QCR is Black armor master and then this is of course for edison it's nice to have for edison and then this card i actually want to test out in cyber dragons i'm going to be showing you guys a saucy list that plays this car not and i picked up a qcr because it's one of the cheaper and qcrs as well so i would say it's not too bad for today's pickups i mean obviously it's not as uh, much as we typically pick up usually i just go all in but it is a smaller locals today and uh yeah i think these are still pretty good pickups this is uh one of my favorites to be honest with you today this card is just absolutely insane i mean just really cool to look at right so these are pretty cool pickups and i'm pretty excited to be adding a lot of these to my collection all right guys so obviously we are no longer at locals we're back in the studio and i'm gonna be real with you guys we got cooked like i mean we got absolutely smoked it's been a couple days now since locals and uh, i got some time to go back check out the duel my round one that i uh, had uh, recorded and i'm gonna be real with you guys i don't think i misplayed and w w when you it just sucks because i'm like looking at it and i'm like i don't think i'm playing poorly i, I don't think so at least but this deck just feels like it can't keep up it doesn't really have a good turn three it doesn't really have the ability to otk it's i don't know it just doesn't do anything super well it's a very fair deck i think the best way to explain it is it's a fair deck like it puts up an omni and a pop if you have the branded fusion you put up the mirror jade but it's like i'm gonna be honest guys like there's rogue tier decks that can do the same thing i feel like this deck i don't know if it's just getting too hyped or not like i just i have genuinely no idea i don't know if it's me i don't know if it's the deck and there's one thing that i'm gonna say to you guys though instead of sitting here and whining and complaining the reason I wanted to say this is because there are no losses in life, only lessons. And I honestly like truly believe in that. And I'm not mad that we lost our locals. That happens to everyone. Everyone has off days. But I will say this is a deck that either I got a master and I got to get better at, or it's not just the deck for me. And if it's not the deck for me, that's cool too. I have good old reliable Kashtira. Kashtira is like my favorite deck right now. Actually, it's one of my favorite decks ever. So I love that deck. It's all reliable. I know that deck very well. If I need to go back to it, I can go back to it. But I'm going to give Voices one more shot, whether it's the branded build, whether it's the pure build, we're going to try something new. But at the end of the day, we learned, we had a little bit more of an experience. And at the end of the day, experience is really important to knowing what you want to play, how you want to play it, and how successful you can be. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I know this vlog was a little bit shorter, not as exciting. Typically, I'm showing you guys all the good, but I really want to be honest with you guys and show you the bad, right? The truth is, I didn't top this locals. And the truth is, sometimes you don't top every single locals. And it was good we had a nice little run where we we're topping every single locals this is a new deck maybe we just gotta get better at it so i just want to be real with you guys i want to be as real and as transparent as possible with that being said there's a lot of new content coming up i just picked up a ton of cards to actually finish some decks so i want to be bringing you guys a lot of deck profiles and yeah there's a lot of exciting things happening so thank you guys all for watching and with that spanko signing out peace